Hey guys, Ajax22 here working on that rusty uh, Browning A5. It turns out that, uh, you know, I may have been a little bit silly um, and not realized that the one tang bolt was the only thing holding the stock on. So uh, a little bit of uh, pushing, shoving, uh, wiggling, and it came right off. So that one screw that's stuck can go on being stuck for a little longer. Uh, it'll probably become a little bit more unstuck as the uh, electrolysis works on it because we can do electrolysis now. We've got the uh, all the wood off, so we should just be able to dip it in the bucket and hook it up. Um, yeah, kind of feel a little bit silly that I didn't realize that that wasn't also uh, holding the uh, stock on. But thankfully, uh, one of the viewers pointed that out to me. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, it actually is pretty, uh, pretty heavily corroded on this, um, too. It's the most heavy corrosion I've seen on the gun. I think the, the wood held the, the moisture against the steel, but it doesn't look like it, it still doesn't look like there's anything that's going to be a deal breaker on this gun. Um, un unbelievable amounts of rusty gunk are coming out of it, but, uh, the, the metal itself looks pretty good. Um... Also, apparently, I'm not the first one to have a ton of problems with uh, using regular screwdrivers on a Browning A5. They actually make a screwdriver set specifically for working on the Browning A5. And the electrolysis will probably help free these screws up just a tiny bit. Um, electrolysis and then maybe a, a soak in some penetrating oil if it, it comes down to that. But definitely... They make screwdriver sets for working on this gun, so I'm going to have to order one of those. Um, I was looking online, and I haven't been able to find um, them for sale that weren't sold out, but they exist, and if they exist, eventually I'll find them, uh, get them en route. In the meantime, electrolysis. Definitely uh, some electrolysis is going to be happening. Um, just going to throw it in the dip, fully assembled, and... Uh, you know, see what happens. The uh, internals should, they might not clean up with the electrolysis, but um, there's not much we can do. Uh, we just need to get the screw heads off, um, and this should go, you know, a little ways down the road to making that happen. Um, yeah, the stuff that's inside might break loose a little bit, but as we've seen in some of the other projects, um, things that are inside other things, inner surfaces, tend to uh, resist electrolysis pretty well. So I'm kind of curious to see just, uh, just what the exact result is. Um, up till now, I've been working on that uh, Ruger 41 uh, Magnum project. Um, you can hear a couple of little parts in the background being uh, zapped. I'm probably going to put that on back burner. Um, I mean, almost all the little parts are done, but I want to get this A5 receiver in there and started. Um, just want, I'm just very curious to see what happens. Um, you know, once we get once we get this get to getting zapped. Um, I strongly suspect it's going to be absolutely gorgeous under under this. So I'm going to get on that. Um, probably give it I don't know six to twelve hours with a fresh electrode and some fresh electrolyte, and see what you know. Do a little light mechanical after that and see what happens. I don't think this is going to require a lot more than that. I think more frequent iterations with a little bit of light mechanical in between is going to be the way to go with this just because it's not that deep pitting it's not flake it's not uh not any of the stuff that we've seen so far so it's mostly mostly cosmetic with some some heavier stuff inside all right uh, i'm gonna get on it so uh i'll be, I'll be back when uh when we're pulling this out of the dip all right bye